We're out here at Honda Muscleman Circuit in Tucson, Arizona, where it's been about two months I've been waiting for this, and it finally happened. It is last minute, but you know what? We did it. We came out here, we drifted, and more importantly, we got this car ridiculously dirty. I had no idea it was gonna rain. What's going on guys, it's Charles here and the weather did not cooperate with us as I wanted to do some big drifts, make some smoke, but instead we got met with a flood. This gave us the ultimate chance to test the Ceramic Pro to the highest levels. And if you don't know what Ceramic Pro is, just to give you a quick refresher, it creates a super slick surface on either wrap or paint and it's hydrophobic. It means that water and other liquids beads right off of it. We're gonna be doing a different format here, guys. Instead of putting the vlog section up front, we're gonna take the actual episode, move it up front, and then all of the vlog section, we're gonna move in the rear so that we create more of an exciting video opposed to the first episode. Again, because of the weather, we didn't have a lot of talking because I was trying to figure out what we were gonna do. I was contemplating if we should abandon the project or we should go with it, made some calls. I got a green light, and I actually think the rain worked out in our favor because again, it allowed us to show the product at its highest level. This car is destroyed after this. And you're gonna see how dirty we got it during the episode. to send it and that's exactly what I did. So what I want you to do guys, I want you to come over here. Josh, Josh, come over here. Let's show, let's show everyone how dirty we got this thing. We want to show you one particular area. So when we were designing this wrap, there are a few areas that we want to show where they're it's gonna get most dirty and clearly the fender got wrecked. Like this is the ceramic pro side. It is completely dirty. I haven't touched it and especially this area where there's there's crazy amounts of dirt right here on the on the competition clutch logo right here this is real carbon remember and then obviously our our pink and gray uh wrap right here so i'm gonna go and hit it with this detail spray real quick and let's see how easy this wipes all right here we go so we're gonna pause real quick right here because next time we do this we are not going to be spraying the wrap we actually want to show that the wrap will wipe completely dry that nothing will stick to it but Again, keep watching to see what happens on the other side when we do spray it. I'm really gonna coat this because this is, this is pretty gross, but I wanna sh show you guys how easy it is to clean this fender. And more importantly, is the wrap gonna be stained? We're gonna find out right now. That looks brand new. That looks like the day, you wanna adjust focus a little? That looks like the day we got the car, right there. I'm gonna change areas on the towel so I'm not reusing that area. Let's go to the white. That is awesome. I'm sure when we hit it with the pressure washer, it's gonna obviously be better. Try not to put, <laughs> we're probably inducing some scratches, but again, we're just here trying to demo this. There is no stains in this white. But let's go over to the other side to see what happened. Let's, hit, let's get this bottom piece right here. I know. Let's, let's check out this bottom piece. 
Look at that. Comes right off. That's amazing. That's freaking awesome. I really want to say fucking. Yeah, let's just say fucking. That's fucking awesome. I think we can cuss, right? Okay, we're going to cuss. That's pretty fucking awesome. All right, let's go to the other fender. Guys, we have been here for, oh man, I've been up since 5 a.m. These guys have been up since 5 a.m. We got to the track at about 9.40. We've been here all day driving and what? 9.40. When did we get here? We got here at like 11.30. Okay, we got here at 11.30 because I needed some Sonic and uh, I was pretty, pretty hangry. All right, last shot, guys. Let's check this out. So again, this is just the passenger side. We did not coat this side. Again, no coating. This is just the regular wrap, how it's installed. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna give it just as much spray, if not more than the other side. It is stained. I'm pushing super hard. I'm pushing really hard in that carbon fender and there's stains in it. Again, it rained all day and literally as we're rounding the day up, it has stopped raining and I really wanna go back out there to make some smoke, but I really have to dig into the wrap to get those water spot spots out. And I'm using a ton of effort to get all this dirt and grime off. Again, let's go to that competition clutch logo. This was a big, uh, imp this was an important spot to show how well this coating works. Again, not coated right here. The dirt is not being picked up by the rag, sadly. We need it, we're gonna change rags. All right, we got a new towel. That towel was destroyed. <laughs> we're gonna come back over here. Let's uh, let's check out let's check out the carbon already. I mean, look at this. Look at the gray, the matte gray, and then our metallic pink. It's just smeared. And I'm using more effort to wipe this down. Remember than what we did on the CP side. Again, every wipe is just smearing dirt everywhere. Look at this. I'm just smearing dirt and I'm just moving it around. Again, let's go to the coated side. We're wiping off the, so on the phone with us right now is Sam Azizazian, marketing director at Ceramic Pro USA. And because of him, we get to do this amazing project. And I'm gonna ignore him for two seconds and we're gonna wipe the back of this car. <laughs> What's up, Sam? Are you filming? Yeah, literally. All right, guys, so this is the dirtiest area of the car. Obviously, the rear wheel, car's rear wheel drive, and we were drifting and just shooting water everywhere. So let's let's show how easy it is to clean up on this. So remember, guys, this is a textured carbon. As you remember, when uh, Vinyl Vixen and Rapchest put that on, it's thick. It is really thick and coarse, and higher was even, even uh, complaining that it was really hard to apply the Ceramic Pro. So let's see the performance of this area. Well, I've got nothing to say. It wipes right off. And that with a power, a power washer, that's incredible. A power washer would just take that right off. Well, let's go to the other side and see how the carbon vinyl performs uncoated right here. Again, I don't know, we haven't tried it. Let's just see how it performs. If it's harder to wipe. Because we already know this white, gray, and pink areas are starting to stain already, just with one session. Let's get a clean area of the towel. All right, let's, let's do this. So honestly, not gonna lie, it cleaned up pretty damn well. But I am noticing right here, let's see, I'm noticing on the back 
some minor staining going on in this area right here. But the wrap did clean up pretty darn well. Did it clean up like the other side did? No. It seems like there's still dirt left over. Got to give it a little more effort. But, you know, the uncoated carbon side, I get, I, you know, I'm not going to be biased. It did pretty damn well. But again, our white near the, near the tire over here is starting to stain right here as we were throwing dirt, obviously, this way. So again, that's our biggest difference in the coating. We're not staining right here. The carbon did perform pretty well, and it, it performed exceptionally well on the other side as well. I'm saying well a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm probably really tired. Uh, let's see. Let's wipe one more area, guys, and wrap this video up because I'm tired. People are texting me. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. All right. Earlier we wiped our logo. Let's wipe the Ceramic Pro logo on both sides real quick. So this is the uncoated side. Check this out. And again, it's just pretty, it's just hard to wipe. This, the dirt is sticking. Check this out. The dirt is sticking to the wrap. I can't pull it down. So let's check the other side. Because if my calculations are correct, that the other side that is coated, the dirt should come right up because there is no surface for the dirt to stick on. So now we're on the other side. This is the coated side. Let's see. You can already see where the, the water did dry, but you can see how it beaded. It beaded up and dried. And look, the spray is instantly breaking up the beads. And let's, let's see what happens. That easy. There is no dirt left over. That is, that was two wipes compared to the five or four I took on the other side. There's nothing, there's no dirt sticking. We'll take, we'll spray it one more time just so we have the surface wet. Again, it's just clean. There's just no area for the dirt to stick to because of the hydrophobic coating. So this concludes part one of today. We've got to get our butts down to Phoenix to keep drifting this damn car. And I'm, I'm exhausted, but I think I'm more excited than exhausted. And uh, I don't know if it's raining down there. I hope not. I want to make some smoke with this thing, kill some tires, and just have a good time. So we arrived at Wild Horse Pass pretty late from Tucson. So it was uh, decided to make only two passes. So I really had to make these laps count. And if you don't know about the 2015 to 2020 Mustang, the GT EcoBoost and V6 are, are all equipped with electronic power steering. Uh, basically meaning it's damn near impossible to drift this car at high speed. Uh, when you rip that e-brake or clutch kick, you better be ready to whip that wheel and point the car exactly where you wanna go or you're gonna either straighten up or end up in an extremely violent spin. So making that second round count, Steve got some incredible footage as you can see here. And in our second pass, we decided to go ahead and pack it up as it was almost midnight and everyone wanted to go to sleep. And I can't thank Steve, Derek, and Josh enough for coming out to Tucson and Phoenix and helping me and Ceramic Pro with this project. This concludes episode five of Tucson and Phoenix where we got to drift the car and get it extremely dirty. And in my opinion, I think we successfully showed that the coated side outperformed the uncoated side instantaneously. With some time that has elapsed between this video and now, the wrap is stained on the uncoated side from this event. So guys, make sure to stay tuned as we've got plenty of episodes coming up. And in the next one, we're gonna be washing the car to see what comes off and what doesn't. Additionally, we'll be heading out to Apex Motor Club for some more shakedown testing as we need to get the car ready for Auto Club. Again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you really love this video, give it a share. Share with your car enthusiast friends, people that are interested in Ceramic Pro, or with some other Mustang friends. 
So for the remainder of the video, you're going to be watching clips leading up to how we made this video and uh, kind of the steps we took to get there. And if you didn't notice, it rained from the second we got there and when we turned off the cameras at around 5 o'clock, it stopped raining. And in fact, the cloud cover had dissipated, but Charlie was already shutting down the track and the track was drying out. And that's just unfortunate. That's just how things work sometimes. But again, we got the car extremely dirty and that was the point. If you enjoyed watching this footage, guys, let me know in the comments below and we'll keep adding this. Muscle men on the circuit and uh, it's raining. It's raining real good. Ford drizzles and now it's just so, it's a solid, you got a solid streak of rain. We're not going to get a break at all. And we're here. We've got everyone. We've got all the gear. The roof's going to do it. That is executive order 25. Let's go drift. Let's go have some fun. Let's prove that this ceramic pro will wipe perfectly clean after you get done out in that muddy surface out there. And we're going to show on the other side of it that, that isn't coated, not exactly going to wipe off. What is this, for Instagram? What's up, buddy? I'm ready, I just hate the look. Ride along, Josh. We'll try. We'll try putting you in the back of the Mustang. Okay. I'm not going to be opposed to it. Wow. Yeah. We're going to go clockwise. Okay. So how's that uh, anglerfish like? Huh? Can you anglerfish me? All right, I'm about to enter re enter. That thing sounds so cool. So this is what it's like to have a halo in a F1 car, I guess. Where are you at, Derek? Where are you at, Derek? How, how's it going? All right, I'm on track. <laughs> I won't lie, it's pretty hard to drive with this thing. Oh. 
I don't know why I did that. I knew I knew the minute I, I kicked it, it was done. <laughs> yeah, I can smell the race gas in here. Uh, let's keep getting these angles and you tell, and then uh, we'll do the smoke. Nope, <laughs> too short. That'd have been dope. <laughs> Derek, it is 10 out of 10 hard to drive with this thing. My concentrate. I'm like trying to concentrate on the camera and talking to you guys.
Oh no, the rain's picking up. Oh, it's still recording. It's been recording for hours. The dirt is literally beating up on the Ceramic Pro side. I haven't checked. Let's look at the other side real quick. So obviously the, beat, the, the dirt over here has got a chance to collect and all that, but I'm, I'm really curious what happens when we're going to wipe this side off. Because we haven't, this is the non-coated side, remember that. So the dirt isn't going to come off as easy. Again, that's a theory and we're going to test it when we wipe it off. Oh man, is it fun for you? Oh yeah. This is your first time out, out here? Yeah it is. You'll have to ride with me obviously. For sure, no, that'd be fun. I got it really good on some of them. No, it is 10 out of, this is the hardest car I've ever driven. Really? Out of every single car I've ever driven. This. GoPro stuff with the foot, the shifting, just the foot, the rev counter. So I'll just do one lap each so we can just keep knocking it out. Do you want me to ride with you handheld? Yes. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get over there then. Uh put that put that back over there. I right, I'm gonna swap lenses too. Okay. Do you have well, a helmet for me? Yeah, it's over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can go mess around, bro, so you can shoot photos. Uh, 